Hi Bro Learners, how are you? Hope you are doing great. My name is Ajaz and welcome back to my channel Bro Learner. In last video we will see how we can declare a variable with the help of where, let and const keyword. In this video we will see the data type of the variable that we define. Without further delay, let's start. First of all, we have this type of data type in our JavaScript language. The first one is string. It is nothing but, for example, if we declare let a equals to in single or double quote, for example, double quote, high and close the this is called a string this is called our string data type because we define in code anything which we define in code it is number or anything it is nothing but it is a string but if we define a equals to 40 or 43.21 anything it is a number and if we define a equals to true, it is a boolean. If we define a equals to false, it is again a boolean data type. And if we just declare let b and we didn't define any value, by default it is undefined data type. Okay. And after that, if we declare an array, a equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and close it is an object type data okay and data type of array is an object and if we initialize uh, an object for example a equals to in curly bracket 2 4 5 and this is again a an object data type because it is an object and the data type of object is object and the data type of array is also an object okay we define anything in in code it is by default string if we define a number it is a number data type if we define true and false without any code it is boolean type if we declare the variable and not giving any value it is undefined and if we define an object the data type of object is object and the data type of array is also an object now let's jump into coding part now we see how we can check any variable data type for example if i have where a equals to string or uh, let's say anything high okay and then we have to print this we have to print this with the help of document dot write document dot write a and then we have to just copy and paste provide a break for next line br tag and after that we have again copy this and just use type of which is used to check the type of any variable okay now let's save you can see high is a string data type if we change a with a number for example if i use 20 and save this you can see if i give point value again it is a number you can see if we provide a equals to true and save this you can see it is boolean type and if we provide false again it is a boolean type you can see and after that if we declare a variable let equals to b and after that we just check the b value and type of b let's see you can see 
both are undefined because we don't know the value of b that's why it is undefined and the type of b is also undefined and after that if we if we declare an array a equals to 12 comma 20 comma 30 and let's save this you can see this is the value and this is an object data type and after that if we provide a equals to curly bracket and just provide to name name colon and name it does and comma age colon 23 now let's save this you can see we cannot directly print the value of an object or if we try to do that it is print object object and then the data type is object which we printed here okay so this is how you can check any variable data type so that that's it for today's video if you like this video please subscribe my channel share with your friend and bye bye